Alrighty folks, thank you all so much for tuning in for another hunting trip today. We're back in our favorite place to hunt, one of the most beautiful places on planet Earth, and that's South Africa. This is a very exciting hunt and a hunt that's very special to me because we are chasing South African warthogs. Y'all know that we love chasing the wild hogs in East Texas, and so a warthog hunt is right up my alley. There's even a little close quarters action in this hunt, and it's a super exciting hunt. So you guys stay tuned and check out this awesome experience. All right, so you know Team Swamp Stomp can't go anywhere without chasing uh, nuisance animals. So I want to show y'all this. This is really cool. This is uh, some monkeys have been coming in and chewing on these corn cobs. So in this field, we've got warthogs that'll knock over these stalks all over the ground. We're seeing these things. They just pull the roots straight out of the ground. And tear this corn down. The monkeys have been coming over here. You can see on this fence right here. How does a corn corn truck get on the top wire of a six foot tall barbed bar fence? Well that's those monkeys jumping over the top. So warthogs, monkeys, jackals, they're all in the hills today. If we see one we're gonna light him up. Uh, trying to help these corn farmers out a little bit and see if we can knock down some nuisance critters. We covered a lot of ground in the vehicle and just checked the rows in the cornfield. We even found a porcupine den that was really big and super cool. But we realized pretty fast we were gonna need to cover ground quicker. And so it was time for some high tech hunting and we are ready to get the drones in the air looking for some warthogs. You guys check out in in the center row here you can see a warthog come running through and break down a corn stalk and this was our first sighting of the day there was no way to approach these warthogs in the area that they were in so we waited on the edge of this cornfield in hopes that they would come out while we waited we had a lunch break and our uh, staff at the camp had packed us a wonderful lunch there and I got a full belly and the sun started to come out and warm things up a little bit and I uh, kicked back in the safari seat back there while Ari was watching for the warthogs. All of a sudden I was being shaken awake and uh, Ari said there's, there's a warthog coming so I jumped up, grabbed the gun and Ari was just trying to get the camera on whenever I shot this warthog. So we just got the end of this little section here, but it was just too fast and I was worried more about getting that warthog down than actually getting this on film. So it's my fault, but we've got a warthog hit. Still there? Now we need a tracker. Yeah. I hope he charges Ari. I hit him both times. Both shots. I've tangled with some pretty nasty boars here in East Texas, but I was getting a little bit nervous as we went through this corn because 
I didn't know just how bad these warthogs were. They have a whole different kind of set of teeth on them. So we were using Ari and William's tracking skills along with listening to corn stalks break ahead of us. So it was a hot pursuit, intense kind of moment. And you guys uh, watch as we get another shot on this warthog. Oh man, that's cool. That's it, your first. Thank you, Ari. War dog, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Good tracking. <laughs> I wasn't dragging anything. <laughs> I come all the way to Africa just to drag more pigs. Drag more pigs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, you just want to We got a little close quarters action there at the end. I heard it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we finally got our warthog. We've been waiting all day, and I'm yes, sir. quite ashamed to say that I was asleep when he came out. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> it's sometimes, yeah. It takes time for them to yep. come out. We did some drone flying today over the corn and Ari spotted a warthog in the corn. And so uh, William made a round over here around the side of this, this patch and uh, could hear him in the corn and rattled the fence. And sure enough, they came running back all the way down the corn and popped out where we were. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, right. I, I was dead asleep and Ari uh, didn't <laughs> tap me awake. He forcefully <laughs> shook me awake. <laughs> and so I, I jumped up and got on the rifle and uh, it was just too quick to get the camera on, but uh, I want to show you guys why we're here doing this. Um, number one, it's a lot of fun, and we've got a, a great trophy to take back home to the States, but yeah. this is what has happened to this farmer's corn. They have just ripped these things open, and that is not very good for harvest. No, that is not. So we're, we're doing them a favor uh, by shooting these warthogs, and that's that's typical Team Swamp Stomp fashion yeah. there, taking yeah. out the bad critters. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice yeah, it's a nice thing to come and call them and then help the farmers um, with their problem here yeah, because yeah they can mess up about five to ten acres in a day. Yeah. We could see the corn laid down even on the drone footage. You could see huge patches of corn just pushed down and uh, definitely glad to take this one out. And I, I got to take a second to brag on William. Uh, we were in this corn following this wounded warthog and he was tracking as fast as I could walk to keep up and I wasn't tracking. <laughs> so it was, it was quite the show seeing him do his thing. Uh, we got a little close quarters action there at the end. Yeah, we were, yeah, we were barrel length close from him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I so, yeah. uh, didn't even use the scope there at the end, just uh, got to walk up and, and get him at the last few steps. and. So we're very happy to make it a successful day and uh, here with great friends and thank you guys very much for You're welcome, yeah. Thank you for helping us and the, the farm owners. So yeah, they are happy if we take these guys out. So yeah, thanks. Right. Thanks, sorry. <laughs> thank you, William.
After a successful hunt, we headed back to camp for a great meal that the staff had prepared and some time around the campfire with friends. And this brings us to the end of another awesome trip in South Africa. If you guys are watching on Facebook, be sure and head over and check out our YouTube channel, Team Swamp Swamp LLC. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure and subscribe so that whenever we post new content, you'll be notified about that because we have a lot of adventures coming up that we want to share with you guys. So thank you all so much for watching and we look forward to sharing another trip with you soon.